them steady, Flint. An engine. Where there's one engine, there's dozens of them. Roll them, Boone's Barrow's dead ahead. Yo! Now, come on, get on, now, settle down, down, Jake. That engine ain't going nowhere. I ain't taking no chances with my supplies or my scalp. Let's go. Get up there. Yeah. Come on, boy. Yeah. Come on, boy. Get up there. Get up there, boy. Come on. I saw. Red Sky was never so happy to see anybody in my whole life. Does Boone know me? Yes, I uh, sat in council with Chief Nohemo, and I've seen you. Boone has sharp eyes. When the Shawnee take counsel, Red Sky sits in the shadows. Red Sky is the one with sharp eyes today. Indeed, he is. How is it that Red Sky is so far from his village? Hunting. Game grows scarce. My village is hungry. I hope to take back much meat, but so far, nothing. Well, Red Sky, you're going to take back a wagon loan of venison if I have to hunt for a week. Well, now, wait. Surely, after all you've done, you're going to let me show my thanks. It is good for Red Sky to save Boone's son. It is not good for Red Sky to take Boone's venison back to the Shawnee. Well, I don't, uh, I don't quite understand. Tall deer, the great hunter, would laugh if I bring back only what Boone has slain. No, 
I must prove myself to be as great a hunter as he. Some other gift. You just name it. You carry it in your hands. Tick clicker? Boone's rifle is known to carry great magic. Its lightning reaches far, and it protects the one who carries it from all enemies. Well, uh, Tick Licker's a fine rifle, Red Sky, but it's, it's not all that fine. I see. I ask too much. No, no, if, if that's what you want, uh, you're welcome to it. Here it is. Red Sky shall be the greatest of hunters. I hope so. It might be a good idea to see how Tick Licker operates. Did you ever fire a rifle before? Only the store muskets. Never a gun that cannot miss. Well, uh, why don't you set up a couple of targets over there for yourself and uh, we'll try a couple. Somehow, Daniel, I believe that the sooner you can convince him that rifle isn't the magic he thinks it is, the better. I think he's about to find that out for himself right now. He wouldn't find that out if you were doing the shooting, Pa. Are you ready? That's fine shooting, Red Sky. Let me have old Tick Licker and I'll show you how to reload it. I'm going to put in a little powder. No more, no less than that. And a little shot. And we set the ball down. Solid. And then we tamp the patch down firm. Now a little powder for the pan. Just hold a fine sight on your target and squeeze slow. Why don't you walk along with us a bit? The bird is not far off. It will be food while I hunt. magic of the rifle. Red Sky will not be just a great hunter. He will no longer sit in the shadows of Chief Nohimo's fire, but at his right hand, Nohimo will listen to his counsel, and Tall Deer will be silent. I wonder if he's always been that ambitious, Daniel, or if he's only now begun to feel that way. I don't know. I kind of wished he'd missed that grouse. He's got me almost believing that Tick Licker is possessed. Well, a Shawnee brave who's convinced that he carries great medicine can be a dangerous man. Yeah, but a Shawnee tribe with all the wrinkles out of their belly can be powerfully content. That's true. Maybe Tick Licker is magic, Pa. How could Red Sky shoot so well if it isn't? Well, maybe his belief gives him confidence and a steady hand. When next you visit Nohimo, I promise you a feast. Well, let's head for home. And now, young man, I want you to tell me how it happened that you were hanging over that cliff. I got run off the road. Run off the road? Yeah, by a couple of wagons going lickety-split. And there's one of them right over there. Hello, Boone. Yeah, 
took the curve too fast. The Indian's after us. The only Indian I saw was the one that saved my boy after you ran him off the road. Was this your boy? I never saw him before in my life. Besides, I never saw anybody in the road. Did you, Flint? No. No, no I never saw anyone. Must have been too busy looking for Indians that weren't there to see someone who was. Now, don't tell me what I saw or didn't see. I can believe my own eyes. Let's just let it drop, Jake. Especially since you're going to be laid up in Boonesboro a few days with that busted wheel. Come on, son. together. You have need of four braves, Nohimo. I am in council with Tall Deer, Red Sky. I join that council. I have brought food. Does Red Sky think because he brought home a turkey, it gives him the right to give orders and ask for warriors? Tall Deer speaks too soon. I ask for braves to help bring home more venison than I can carry. Perhaps tall deer will join these braves. Take care, Red Sky. If what you say is true, I will send women for the venison. If it is true. You doubt my word? We shall find out. Wahani. No, Wahani stays here. You see, there is no game. Once more, I asked Tall Deer to see for himself. How did Red Sky suddenly become such a hunter? With powerful magic, Nohimo. A gun of the long knives, the rifle of Daniel Boone. This, at least, is true. I have seen it in Big Turtle's hands. Mmm, Red Sky stole it. A gift. A gift for the life of his son. You go, Red Sky. Go now and never return, or you will die. Tall Deer has called me thief and liar. It is he who will go, or die. Red Sky is brave while he holds a gun, and I am unarmed. Your gun stands in front of your wigwam. Fear. I will not shoot you in the back. Take your gun and go. You are safe. I go, Red Sky. Pa had to give away old Tick Licker. Well, he was grateful, Israel. Besides, don't you consider yourself worth more than a gun? Well, maybe. But Tick Licker was Pa's most favorite tiss. The barrel is true, Daniel. Israel, the word is favorite, not favoritist. And since the word favorite means the highest in one's affection, we don't have to qualify it with the word most. So, Tick Licker was your father's favorite gun. Tick Licker was Pa's favorite gun. Right. It sure is too bad he had to give it away. Well, a gun can always be replaced. But a son, that's not so easy. 
There, Clark, just a hair to the right. Clark! You gonna fool around with Boone's gun all day? You told me my wheel would be rimmed and ready to roll come noon. Yeah, well, uh, it ain't quite ready yet. Takes a little time to shrink a rim onto a wheel. How much time? I got a load of supplies to get to Harrodsburg. I'll be with you just as soon as I finish helping Mr. Boone. Go ahead, Clark. Get Jake's wagon rolling. Hey, Paul, look! That's one of the Indians that was after us. The one in front. Well, that's Red Sky, but he was alone. That's the one that saved Israel's life. Well, he ain't alone now. He's probably here to find out when our wagons are ready to leave. Come on, Clark, I want that wheel fixed now. Hello there, Red Sky. How are you getting along with old Tick Licker? As you see, I brought furs to trade for more lead and powder. Well, I think that can be arranged. Used to be Tall Deer did all the trade. Tall Deer sleeps the eternal sleep. It is Red Sky who sits at the right hand of Nohimo. What happened to Tall Deer? He called me liar when I said that Tick Licker was Boone's gift. And Tick Licker answered for me. It was a fair fight. There were many witnesses. I'm sure that's true, Red Sky. It's just too bad there had to be a fight at all. How about coming by my cabin this afternoon? I'd like to have a little powwow with you. Yes, I will come. As we'll run home, tell your mom we're going to have company. Okay, Pa. You will soon learn, Red Sky, that sometimes Tick Licker misses. It cannot miss. I would ask Boone a question. Go ahead. Why have you not killed the man who almost killed your son? You mean Jake Manning? Well, he claims he didn't see Israel. There's no way to prove he's not telling the truth. Either way, it could have been an accident. Can it be that without the magic of Ticklicar, Boone dare not face his enemy? <laughs> no. Let's go see what those furs of yours are worth. No. Boone has done much for me. I am no longer a child to be led by the hand. I will bargain these furs myself. Fine, Red Sky. I'm sure Higgins will give you a fair price. I'll just stay here and uh, fire a few more rounds with my new rifle. When you get ready, come by and get me. Wait for me at the river. There will be much to carry. <laughs> Thieving engine. Boone's got a lot to be grateful for. I ain't so sure. Keep working on that wheel. There's been a change in Red Sky. Yes, there has. I'm not sure I like it. And all because of a gun that cannot miss. I'm beginning to think instead of rewarding Red Sky for saving Israel's life, I might have done him a bad turn. Yes, but how to undo it? Well, when he comes over this afternoon, I just might get him in a shooting contest. Sooner or later, he's bound to miss. How'd you like to join us? I'd be delighted. But you'd better get some practice in with that new rifle, or you may be the first to miss. Oh, nice batch of skins, Red Sky. Oh, I'd say, uh... A uh, couple of kegs of powder and enough lead for 150 rounds and uh, a little something extra. How about a new powder horn? Uh, no, uh, something to please a young woman. Yeah, well, got a whole shelf full of trinkets there. Take a look while I get your stuff together. <laughs> Uh, 
Have yourselves a drink. Find yourself a new war bonnet engine? I've seen you before. Yes. Turn around when I'm talking to you. And speak softly. Better get down. Hurry. You're a mighty brave buck with that rifle engine. Well, you don't scare me none. This engine was uh, out spying on my wagon train coming into Boonesboro. Now he's come back with some others, waiting for us to leave so they can ambush us. Ain't that right, Injun? Talk on, white man. Take it easy, Jake. Red Sky's here to trade furs, and besides, we've got a peace treaty with the Shawnee. I ain't trusting to no peace treaties. I want this engine locked up until my wagons are a good half day on the road. The wagon driver has guilt on his mind. What are you talking about? hate me because I am witness to your cowardice. Witness to what cowardice? A boy on the road. Boone did not see, but I saw. You forced him over the cliff. You watched him falling and you drove on. Well, that's a lie. You have a gun in your hand. See if it speaks truth. Hold it, both of you. Clark's got your wheel and collect your men and start rolling. With that engine on my trail? Nobody's gonna be on your trail. Red Sky's coming home with me. Now move! Folks in Harrodsburg didn't need their supplies that go on your way. not understand why you did not kill Jake. Well, because in the white man's world, Red Sky, we have laws that tell when a man can be punished by death. And what Jake did to your son was not enough? No. Nope. Driving away without knowing that Israel was safe was mean and cowardly, but it's not reason to kill. Insult is not enough? His striking you was not enough? No, he was drunk. Then what is enough? Well, a man can kill to protect himself or the lives of others. And there might be a few other reasons to justify killing, but not many. I would kill for many reasons. What do you say we get started? <laughs> I know where to ford. Looks like somebody else knows too. Could be those skulking Shawnee waiting for us. Well, Jake, there was only four of them. Yeah. So if we get the drop on them and wipe them out, we teach that Red Sky a lesson at Boone too. Ain't you had enough yet? I know what I'm doing. We'll, we'll pull those trees yonder and then move in on foot. They don't look too warlike. 
to me, Jake. I don't aim to give him a chance to be. I'll get the one with the fire. You get the one having target practice. I don't like it, Jake. Maybe, maybe we better go on. I let him get behind us. All right, we'll take turns. The first one misses is eliminated. Last one still up wins. Right, Red Sky? Unless you both miss, we will shoot for other. All right, who's going to shoot first? Don't mind getting mine over with. It's over with the room. Well, my warriors are waiting. reason to kill it does look like cold-blooded murder and the white man's penalty for murder is death we have to know for sure who's guilty it was jake manning and his men who else would leave wagon tracks it seems most likely there were four men all right whether or not they're all guilty we don't know yet i know wait we have to prove it first ah by going back to the fort, by getting witnesses, by having a white man's trial, I promise you that the men who did this will pay the white man's penalty. I want you to go with me, Red Sky. It's up to the white man to punish his own kind to break the treaty with the Shawnee. The bodies are not yet cold. The wagons cannot be far off. We might catch them and take them prisoner before they get to Harrodsburg. Prisoner! You go on, Boone. Get your witnesses. Well, where will you be? I remain here with the dead. Bingo will stay with you. I'll be back as soon as I can with all the men I can muster. I left you here to guard me. To guard you, Red Sky. Just to keep you from doing something you might regret later. Believe me, I know how you feel. If you know how I feel, you will go with me. The wagons are not far off and they're moving slowly. We can overtake them. No, we'll wait here for Boone. This is a white man's crime. That the white man must punish in the white man's way. The white man's way is not to punish at all. Boone could have killed Jake Manning and he did not. I could have killed Jake, but Boone stopped me. Now there is no one here to stop me. I go alone. Farewell. It's Scully, you're going to have to understand that Boone means what he says. Jake Manning did what he did as much out of hatred for Boone as for you. If you go after those men alone, they could kill you too, and then claim they acted in self-defense. Dead men say nothing. That would be worse. The truth must be known. This could lead to all-out war. Those men have to be tried. I will try them with this. You remain here. Wait for Boone. Tell him that Red Sky does not need white men's justice as long as he holds in his hands the magic gun. As long as Red Sky believes that gun is all-powerful, there's no courage in what he does. You're not killing for justice. You're killing because you believe you have the power to kill. And do not anger me by standing in my way. Oh, honey. I came to help you carry the supplies. Your eyes. What's happened? My warriors are dead by the hands of white men. Wahani, go back to the tribe. Tell the braves they will find Red Sky on the road to Harrodsburg. All I'm saying is we've got to move fast and bring those men to justice before the Shawnee do it themselves. If we don't, the Shawnee are going to hold us responsible, and that's going to mean an all-out war. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So if we're agreed, let's get moving.
murder, Jake. And I had no part in it. All I'm asking is, if anybody says anything, tell them we were attacked. A man's got a right to defend himself, ain't he? Take warriors, bring in the wagons. That's what I want alive. Jake himself. Mingo, I want you to go to the Shawnee village and find Chief Nohemo. Tell him what's happened. Tell him we're after the men who did this and we'll punish him. I only hope I'm not too late. Clint, you and we were buried these men. The rest of you, come on. It's not going to tell us what happened. Help! Help! Red Sky. I saw him. Tell me this, Flint. Who killed those Shawnee Braves? Jake and the other two drivers. I tried to talk him out of it, but Jake, he hates engines. Scared of them. All right, save your strength. I want you to say that at the trial if there's anybody left to try. I or you and Williams put a splint on his leg and bring him along. The rest of you come along with me. The young warriors are long gone, answering the call of Red Sky. And if all is as you say, the killers will die. But Red Sky cannot take the law into his own hands. Boone wants those men tried, as an example to other white men who violate treaties.
Red Sky. These supplies belong to the people of Harrodsburg. These men were only delivering them. The people of Harrodsburg can have them if they can take them. You know what that would mean? Yes. War. They will die. Red Sky, can't you see what you're doing? Boone is trying to help you. He wants that man himself. And let Boone come for him. To bring all of his men and try to take my prisoner away. I will keep him alive for him. But tell him we wait for him with many guns. Led by the gun that kills and kills and kills. So that's the situation, Daniel. In all but name, Red Sky is chief. He's beyond all reason. He thinks that gun is invincible and he's inviting the whole world to come and fight him. Well, I say let him have Jake. I'm not risking my skin to save any cold-blooded murderer. That's not the point, Clark. I'm not too interested in saving Jake's neck myself, but I am interested in saving all the rest of us. Red Sky has to learn the meaning of the law. And if we don't meet his challenge now, he's going to become the law. That means death to the white man. Yeah, but what can we do, Dan? The Shawnee must outnumber us 20 to 1. They get all those stolen guns. No, I say we warn the folk at Harrodsburg and then get back to the stockade where we'll have a fighting chance. That's exactly the war I want to avoid. There just might be another way of doing this. Mingo, I want you to go back to Red Sky. Only this time, I want you to take a challenge to him, from me. Open the eye that looks down the barrel. Red Sky. I would have counsel with you. And what counsel can you give, Nohimo? You take my authority, ordering the warriors to arms without consulting me. Must I consult you before my rifle feeds a whole tribe? Must I consult you before I take vengeance on those who killed my companions? No. Provide meat is the duty of every warrior. To kill those who kill us is Shawnee justice. But now you have stolen goods from those with whom we are at peace and prepare to make war upon them in violation of our treaty. It is he who broke the treaty. No. He is a killer who has broken the white man's law as well as ours. Let Boone have him. You will grow old, Nohimo, and your heart is feeble. Your commands are heard only by the ancients. I have already invited Boone to take my prisoner. But he will not come. In my hands, I hold Boone's magic, the gun that cannot miss. Without it, Boone dare not set foot on Shawnee territory. Not true, Red Sky. Daniel Boone has accepted your invitation. He's crossed the river and even now stands in the Shawnee forest. You're here! Long knives come, and they shall die! They shall yeah. die. Yeah. Not all the long knives! And before you call your braves to battle, Red Sky, first hear the words of Daniel Boone. Speak. Seven sons ago, Big Turtle gave Red Sky the gift of his choice. True, a small gift in return for what Red Sky had done. But now Boone sees it was an evil gift as well, for it's brought him to the verge of war with his friends. And so we must uh, take back the gift and replace it with another. Boone wants his magic back. Not magic. Boone shall prove this. He will face Red Sky and his rifle alone. Armed only with his bare hands. He'll take the gun away from him. Does Red Sky accept the challenge? If Boone wishes to die by my hand, it is his choice. Where do I find him? Follow me to yonder hill and I'll show you. Oh. 
Bring the glass tube that you uh, took from your prisoner. If you look against the sky, they're looking at us. Move around a little, Flint. Boone is not alone. He'll send the other man away. Have a better look at the glass that brings things close. the man with Boone. You last saw him through the sights of Ticklicker. You fired, and yet he still lives. Well, I reckon Red Sky has seen enough to shake his confidence a little. You can go now. There, yeah, Boone's sending him away now. He's waiting for you alone and unarmed. If you still dare to go after him. go. It will end as the great spirit ordains. You wait here for me. We'll wait and listen. And the shots we hear will come only from Red Sky's gun. I was miss number one for the gun that never misses, Red Sky. I could take that gun from you, but I'd rather you'd have a few more shots first. Enchanted gun. Therefore, the others must have missed. And there'll be more misses. Because there's no magic in any gun. Only the skill of the man who fires it. You must be running out of powder and shot. It's another miss. All right, 
Red Sky, listen to me. You saved the life of my son, and I'm giving back your life. It's just one of the gifts I still owe you. I do not want my life to live disgraced in the shadows. Maybe I'm giving you a chance to come out of the shadows. No chief ever ruled his tribe with superstition, and no man is a law unto himself. Now, you've killed three men, and that's enough. Now, I'm going to let you up. Don't try to run and don't fight. One man still lives who must die. The man I saw with you. That's where you're wrong. Flint had nothing to do with the killing of your braves. He tried to stop the others. He's the only witness you've got to prove that you're not a cold-blooded murderer. This is truth. I'll testify to that at Jake Manning's trial. Now let's go to your village and get him. It never was magic, Red Sky, but it's still a good rifle. If you can remember that, I'll give it back to you. You keep it, Boone. Give me your new rifle. I know it is not enchanted. Has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor, we have. May the court hear that verdict. Yes, Your Honor. We find the prisoner guilty of murder in the first degree. Sky, you've seen white man's justice at work. A fair trial? Yes. The truth is no. The guilty is condemned, and the goods I have stolen are restored. Only because Tick Licker left Flint alive to testify. Had he died, there could have been no trial. Hmm. And Red Sky would have been guilty of killing an innocent man. There's more to it than that. There's that other gift I spoke of. I know what it is, Boone. The gift of a clear mind and peace. Farewell. <laughs>